or blue collar Americans anywhere for that matter. So, we've seen this before, right? Americans have seen this before. It's called NAFTA. This is the type of thing that created the Rust Belt. And there are folks right down there, and right down there, even Democrats, right down there, never learned an after lesson and think that blue collar New Yorkers and blue collar Americans are just gonna eat it again. We're gonna eat it with promises of different jobs and training. And you know what NAFTA ended up in? The Rust Belt. The Rust Belt. We still not recovered from it all these decades later. And I'll tell you something, if they have their way, and I'll call them elitists, they are elitists, these other folks that are worried about how they're gonna feed their kid, kids, pay the rent, buy a pair of shoes, send their children to college, they don't have to worry about that. And you know what? And they're trying to pursue an ideology here off the backs of blue collar workers. And we're not gonna take it. We're not just gonna stand around and listen to empty promises like NAFTA, a normalization of trade with China, which decimated the working people of America. We're not gonna take it and we can change it. Because this is New York and the trade union movement needs something in New York. This ain't the South. This is New York City. We're in downtown Brooklyn right now. I inspected those tracks. I inspected those tracks 500 yards away from here until about 11 years ago or 12 years ago. We all work in New York. We're not freaking elitist social liberals for the Democratic Party that want to actually stick it to us. We demand a just transition. Not like NAFTA. We're not, we're not gonna see no rust belt on the streets of Brooklyn, on the working neighborhoods of Brooklyn, Staten Island, Queens, the Bronx, the suburbs of New York. All of these jobs that work in neighborhoods across the downstate region and beyond are built upon. We're not gonna see them pissed away. We're gonna go down fighting, we're gonna go down swinging, and we're in the ultimate situation. You're right, we're not gonna go down. We're in the ultimate situation where we need to stop making choices about who's with us and who's against us. We need to open up a butcher book and start keeping notes. You're either with us or you're against us. You can't be both. You're either with those folks down there, you're either with them and their ideology, or you're with blue collar New Yorkers who want to see a greener world, we just want to do it with a just transition. A couple more points. If the Democrats want to stick it to us, then let them continue to wonder why working people are drifting away from them. Let them continue to think about it. We need blue collar jobs to sustain the working communities of New York. If the Democrats don't care about these jobs, then we should stop caring about them. Thank you, brother.